Hi guys, welcome to another week of Whistle Stop Wednesday videos. This week's feature engine is, as you can see, a big boy. A Lionel Legacy Big Boy. This was like one of the first ones that came out. I think it was in um, 2008, maybe 2007, 2008. I, I really can't put my finger on it. But this was one of the first ones in Legacy that came out. And not only did you get the big boy, but also you got the Legacy system to go with it. And um, I jumped right on it. I got this at a really good price from my buddy's Barry's Trains uh, down in Elizabethtown, Pennsylvania. And I really like it, even though the whistle is not the whistle that goes with the big boy. But uh, this was my first big purchase. As you can see, the big boy has everything that you want in it. This is the uh, 4012 from Scranton, PA. And me being a coal cracker, that one, that's why I got it. Because it was the 4012. And you can see right on top here, it has this bonnet. Which I kind of like to uh, run, but it has the it covers the stacks right there. You really can't see the smoke coming out of it, but uh, I put it on every once in a while to run it like that. Uh, no whistle steam. Uh, everything else, uh, all the uh, th uh, the sand domes and stuff like that are right or cast in. Uh, everything is underneath it. Uh, this is like your plain Jane first legacy, but it is still very cool and runs like a champ too. Has all kinds of neat things on it. Has the little hatch right there that opens and closes. Okay, right there. It's just a friction fit right in there. Has a real coal load. It has on the water tender back in here. It has different uh, switches for you for the volume and sounds. On the back of it is the marker lights. There's three of them, and there is a backup light on here. Electrocouplers on it. Nice detail work on the inside. It has um, the curtains there. It has two crew figures on there. It does have firebox glow, and it does have ash pan glow. But you could see the nice detail work right in here with all the piping. It has the work lights underneath there. There's one there. There's one here. And there's one in the front here, too. And this is really, really cool. You know, it's one of my favorite ones. I haven't run in a while. I do have the uh, Vision Line one that I really like running a lot. But this is, this is really cool, too. So I'm going to fire it up, guys. And they'll let you listen to what it sounds like. UP4012, do you copy? Roger that. Over. Start her up and stand by for track orders. Roger that. I'm going to start this big boy up now. Okay, it does have incandescent lights on it. There are green LEDs for the, um, the lights in the front there, the class lights. Here's the crew talk. Uh, 40, 12 here. I'm ready to go. Can I roll? Over. 4012, you are all clear. Over. Copy that. 4012, we are good to go. Now. And here's the whistle. It's not like it's not like the vision line whistle. Here's the bell. And let's get it started. Now you can see with the shroud on what it looks like. I'll run it a little bit. A lot of smoke coming out of that. There's another look at it. smoke
See what it looks like coming out of the tunnel, guys. I'm gonna take off the uh, the shroud. Sorry guys, I only got one hand. Put the shroud on the side there and just show you that it does go with both, both stacks at one time. It doesn't alternate like on the vision line one. Still a lot of smoke, great smoker. Really fills up the room with smoke. There's the ash pan glow right there. And we'll back it up. There's the backup light. Good whistle, but not prototypical like your uh, basic big boy. smoke guys really good beautiful engine out Lionel put out and the shutdown sequence well here here's the blowdown I'm sorry, that was filling up the water. Here's the blowdown. Pretty cool. Let's see if I can get that ash pan glow on there now. Yeah, it's not coming out that great on the thing. Okay, guys, this is it. Shutdown sequence. Four zero one two here. See you tomorrow. And with these early legacy ones, you did have to shut off the lights. Okay, guys, this is it from, uh, I think it was 2008. I'm not sure, but uh, it was a real brute, and it still is. Really nice engine. Hope you guys like it. It's still warm here in Millersburg, PA. So, without any further ado, I am out.